We're just getting ready to leave the hotel from Bahia de Los Angeles. This is where we stayed last night. So back behind me, we have the bikes all loaded up and ready to go. Um, what we're gonna go try and see what happens is there's a 100 mile dirt road out of here. Instead of doing the 150 mile paved route, we're gonna go see what that has and see if it works for us, um, see how difficult it is. We are on heavy bikes, so we don't wanna push it too hard, obviously, but we're gonna see what it gives us and it may or may not be worth it, we'll find out. Beautiful, huh? Que bonito, que bonito. What do we have here? Some kind of weary traveler. Uh. This bien. Gracias. So we're making our way a little farther down the road here. We've come in and out of a couple of little short sand sections, but nothing that we couldn't handle. We got a little bit of traffic here. This is the second car we've seen. This guy's hauling ass. This is why I'm glad I wore the goggles. It's funny, some of these drop downs are kind of paved in, some of them are sand in the bottom, so you gotta be careful when you come up to them what they are. We're doing 25, sometimes 30 miles an hour. That's about the tops, but we got a lot of this, so it's we could probably go faster and get up on the pegs and all that, but it's gonna be a long day and we don't wanna wear ourselves out just doing that early. We just took a quick stop here. There was a little paved washout section. By section, I mean like 10 feet. And we're gonna kind of get going again in this stuff. It's, it's kind of diabolical because it's sometimes soft, it's sometimes firm. You move around on it no matter what. And no, we're not on empty rental bikes with a chase truck. We're still cruising along, gotten a little rockier, which is fine. It's less disconcerting than the sand. But I'm also trying to not beat the bike through some of these ruts like this. And there we go. Well, you got to do it once, huh? There it is. I have a feeling this may be tricky to get up. Let's see if I can do this on my own. Oh, no. Oh, it's heavy. I'm either going to have to unload or hope Tom comes back. All right. I had to take the top box off to make it to do that. With the top box off, I was able to get it up. <laughs> see, uh, see. Uh, yeah, see, oh. no, it's he'll, he'll. Oh. Uh, you camping, uh, hotel Bahia, Bahia de los Angeles. Okay. Mm. 
My copy, my copy. Oh, que no negro. Oh, okay, okay. My copy is San Rafael. Ah. Yeah. 74 kilómetros. 74. 74. 74. Uh. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Bien, right. yeah. gracias. Hola. Well, let's get back at this. <laughs> he falls sometimes, that's part of the game. That's part of the game. And it was a pretty easy fall too. I mean, I just basically felt it going and stepped off. No point in fighting with a big bike like this. There's just no point. <clears throat> That's how you hurt yourself. We'll see, I don't know if we'll uh, see Tom coming back at some point or if we'll just catch him when he's waiting for me somewhere. The set rep, I dropped it again. This time I think I heard something in my back trying to lift it up. I have the luggage off, but I cannot put enough force into it, so hopefully Tom realizes I haven't seen him in ages. I believe I hear him coming. We should see him any second now. It's, it's been 30 miles at least since I've seen him. Um, so I don't know, but hopefully he comes back soon. To get the bike back up. <sighs> My back, though, that took everything I had. <sighs> All right. Well, I've come about 10 miles since where I fell, and had to spend forever getting the bike back up. Um, <sighs> Yeah, this is what we're dealing with. So, still no, still no sign of Tom. I don't know what the hell happened. I mean, I see his tire tracks through here. So I know he came through here. It's a weird, weird mix of sand and, and rocks and a little bit of everything. I wondered if you were ever going to come back. Oh, uh, I waited for you in a couple of spots, but it got so hot. I had to keep going. I dropped the bike and it was facing downhill. It took me an hour and a half to my back in the process to get it turned to get it turned around so that I could lift it. For a little town? R yeah, literally like half a mile from the little town. Because those guys uh, with the truck, man, they said you were good. So I dropped it once early on. And I was good. I popped it up because it fell normally. Um, and so I was fine then. Yeah. And then literally like half a mile before that little town on that downhill, yeah. I just had a space moment, but the bike was laying downhill on it. Did you guys pass you before that? Way before that. They passed me like three hours ago. I, I was waiting at the intersection and they're like, you're, and I asked them, are you good? He's like, yeah, your buddy's good. He's on his way. And so I, I waited there. I went a little bit further, I kept on looking for you. I went a little further, I stopped again, a little further, stopped again. I thought you were good. Yeah. Well, I mean, I was, like I said, if if, if, if the bike had fallen normally, yeah. I would have been okay. It's pretty close to our rancho or whatever, we can stop there. Stop there and see what the hell's going on, it's not far. Car. Well, yeah, I gotta get figure this out. Not sandy is what they told us about this road. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, so we turned around, so back by, back by this again.
That thing is sharp. Today is getting me, Tom. Today is getting me.